Hello everyone. So, uh, this time I decided to check out the competition. This is the Oral B. Uh, I'm not sure what the model is, but, but yeah, they come in these fancy travel cases. And, um, and finally, they started to put uh, lithium ion batteries and not neom hash. That was a big no for me. Uh, these these batteries they are quite okay, mm, hold the charge okay, but but still I like the lithium ion, ion batteries. Okay, um, this one uh, has a mm, defect that it turns on, but nothing happens. You can scroll through the modes. But it's not working. So okay, yes, you already you can see that it's already partly disassembled. Um, to disassemble it, it uh, it's much easier than Philips. But in principle, all what you need is uh, you can brute force it. Uh, in principle, first you take off this ring. Uh, just insert a screwdriver, flat screwdriver, and pry it o open. And uh, then with this one, you just insert it on the charging case and pull it into this direction because in this direction the uh, holding clip is smaller than into this one. Um, to help to, or to to do maybe uh, uh, save the plastic, you could uh, heat the upper part and uh, first upper part, then take off the ring. Then heat the in, in hot water, heat this uh, lower part, and uh, then you can take it out. Yeah, don't lose the spring, it sits in there. And yeah, it's it is a little bit easier to take apart. Uh, after that, you just press it out. Yeah, what we have is I said this uh, lithium ion battery and Simple motor. Uh, I saw that the newest I.O. Uh, series finally changed the driving mechanism in Oral-B. So I will try to get the new one and then check it out. How, it, how does it function? So maybe a video in future. But for this one, in principle, what we need to check. Um, okay, yeah, this one we can take off. I think yeah, it has um, it has some white clips, so you just unclip it from one side, from other, and you have full access to the upper part. Okay, um, I already repaired one of these, so I assume that I know what's uh, what's wrong with this one. And we can see that uh, we can take our multimeter, check, turn it on, check the voltages. In principle, we have here ground, and let's check your battery. Thing it should be battery plus or not? No, sorry. This is the. Mm -hmm. So here we have battery plus, it's 4 volts, then we have a fuse, on the fuse we have 4 volts as well, no, okay, After fuse, we have a much smaller, smaller voltage, and that was what I found in the other toothbrush. That if you change to the resistance, the fuse was not completely dead, but it already increased its resistance. So yeah, I was starting. I 
filters that you haven't checked the fuse but I was starting to suspect MOSFETs, transistors and everything around it but in the end effect it was much easier so let's see if we can So if someone wants to find an original replacement, that's what you have. Uh, where is it? Uh, I don't think it will focus, but it's uh, some fancy fuse with PP on it. But I couldn't find original uh, parts, so I just inserted a... Uh, 2 amp, 2, 2 amps uh, fuse and it was working fine Okay, let's try it out. Wonderful. That's it. So if you have a toothbrush that lights up but doesn't function, doesn't vibrate, you have a one separate fuse uh, for um, four, four, four. Uh, the that. Uh, um, channels the amperage through this MOSFET let's, let's try to close it up okay yeah so you have this uh, fuse that channels the amperage through through, through through this MOSFET into the motor contacts and uh, you have one more smaller fuse that is responsible I, I assume that it's responsible for the whole electronics uh, of, of this uh, toothbrush so yeah, nothing fancy, quite old technology that Oral-B uses, it's, I think it's in all of its uh, older toothbrushes, it's this technology, it's quite good, yeah, I saw one teardown of this uh, mechanism, so the, the, the guy was very impressed with all the over-engineering, as he called from German manufacturer, but yeah, in principle that's it. All we have to for this defect, this this fuse is uh, defect or starting to get defect. Uh, yeah, I spotted one thing in uh, in one of the toothbrushes that it was it started to it was working and then slowly died, uh, and then after a few presses it died completely. So. This could be one additional uh, symptom that if it's if it dies after some time, it's not the battery, it's the fuse. Yeah, assembly is quite easy. We can clean clean off a little bit the, the board just to have it cleaner. This cleans with alcohol, the, the flux that uh, left after the soldering and to assembly it, you just press everything in back, you have the holes, align it and press. Like this, it's quite easy too. Just 
insert it and it holds, ni holds nicely. This part is as well. All you need to do is just press it in. But the uh, sequences first uh, disassembly first this one then this one and the assembly is the other way around first this one then this one. That's it. Thanks for watching this short, short, short video of this brown repair. If you like it, give a thumbs up. Um, yeah, I could make few more videos of the Oral B. Uh, not only Philips Sonic Air, as my channel is based only on these videos. So let me know if you need some more of these, and see you then.